I don't know about you guys, but I'm not a huge Twitch guy. Uh, there's a lot of streamers that I like. I like the platform itself, but I just don't really find myself that much on it, right? So usually when I consume like Twitch content, it's either through like YouTube videos or YouTube highlights or maybe VODs or just stuff like that, right? When I see things from Twitch on other websites, such as like uh, Twitter, Instagram, anything like YouTube even, right? Uh, sometimes it's like, I really don't expect it because I don't really know what's on there. Maybe what I'm talking about right now is very common. And I know to a certain extent it is, but maybe it'd be less shocking to people who are, are on Twitch all the time. But to me, this is very strange. Uh, specifically what I'm talking about is, uh, this, uh, streamer called Taylor Javo, Jivo. I'm not sure how to say her name. I'm just going to go with Javo for the purpose of this video. But yes, I saw yesterday I was scrolling through Twitter and uh, I saw a, I saw a picture, right? I saw somebody repost a picture of, uh, it was a screenshot of her, of her stream that she was doing on April 18, 18, I think, I think it was April 18, where she was doing a body painting stream, right? So that's something that I personally am not accustomed to. I've never ever heard of a body painting stream, but then again, it might not be a new thing and I might just be out of the loop. But anyways, she was doing a body painting stream where she was broadcasting herself to over 10,000 people, I think it was 12,000 people, body painting her, while she was body painting herself. And when I say body painting herself, I don't only mean like her legs, uh, you know, her arms, like no, 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 no. As you can clearly see in this picture that I'm putting on screen right now, the very same picture that I saw reposted on Twitter last night, she is body painting her whole ass body. Like this girl is in her underwear, body painting herself. And uh, you see at the top, it says 10 gifted subs at the painting, right? So she's kind of inciting people to sub so that she can paint on herself, right? Listen, I don't have a problem with this. Uh, and before I even go into like my opinion of this, I just want to say that uh, this girl does other things too. She doesn't only do uh, body painting streams. It's not like she's not like a, a, a straight body painter <laughs> like on Twitch. Uh, I'll put her like Twitch bio on screen right now. Uh, she does different things. Uh, she says here, my stream consists of pool streams, cake smashes, IRL adventures, tech boxing, whatever, and video games, all that shit, right? I just wanted to put this out so that we know that like she doesn't only do this type of content, right? And even if she did, like let's say she was a like her only content that she did was these body painting streams. I wouldn't care. I wouldn't care because she's doing something that's in like, if this like you could see her 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 follower count three hundred and sixty three thousand followers bro if this is enabling her to live off of twitch then props to her bro you keep doing your thing clearly there's a demand for it if nobody cared about your shit nobody would watch your shit right if people want to and no matter the reason why people want to watch your shit if people are tuning in to your streams they want to watch it no matter what other people think no matter what anybody has to say that's a fact no matter your opinion on her no matter what your opinion on her content is the fact is people tune into her streams and they want to see her do whatever the fuck she's going to do for whatever reasons they want to watch her, right? So that's not what I have a problem with, right? What I have a problem with personally is that her content clearly sits in a, in a gray area of Twitch's terms of service. I'm sure like as soon as, as soon as people see this, they kind of get the impression like, wow, this is kind of, this is definitely not what you usually see on Twitch, which is not necessarily a problem, right? There's nothing wrong with breaking the mold, but clearly there's something about her content that's not completely out of like, you know, what's usually criticized on Twitch. There's a lot of, sh there's a lot of shit with like, you know, titty streamers and all that shit. But again, if that's what people want to see, then it's okay. That's what they want to see. If it doesn't break any terms of service, then there's nothing wrong with it. I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you here a part of Twitch, of Twitch's terms of service. Uh, this part specifically talks about what you're not supposed to do on Twitch, right? What is prohibited on Twitch, right? So it says here, create, upload, transmit, distribute, or store any content that is inaccurate, unlawful, whatever. That's not important. When we get to the obscene, the pornographic, even otherwise objectionable, her content isn't any of that. Yeah, she's like doing like, you know, these streams where she's basically half naked, making like clearly playing on the fact that she's half naked right but she's not actually breaking any terms of service necessarily and we've seen this in the past it's not like she's the first streamer that's like doing this type of shit right but that's not so much what i have a problem with i don't have a problem with people doing this type of content if they do this type of content and again if people are tuning in to watch this type of content that's what's important to remember if people are tuning in 
why would Twitch complain? She's not breaking any terms of service and people are watching. So there's no problem, right? My problem is she gets partnered for this. I don't have a problem with her getting partnered. That's completely cool. She's, she's bringing in 10,000 viewers at one time. Of course she should get partnered, right? She's not breaking any rules and she's bringing in a crazy amount of viewers. She should get partnered. But when you look at people like your age who average the same, if not more than Taylor Javeau and are unable to get partnered for seemingly no, no reason. And it's been so long that your age has been averaging these crazy amount of viewers and he simply can't get partnered for no fucking reason. Well, then you start when then you start to think about it. It's kind of weird, right? And you would think that people like your age would not have trouble would not have trouble getting partnered, right? When you average this many viewers, you shouldn't have trouble getting partnered, especially if your content doesn't break TOS, right? When you look at Taylor Javos content, apparently that doesn't break TOS. It comes damn close, but it doesn't break TOS. I've watched your age's streams. He does not break TOS. So you got to wonder why is one partnered, but the other is not partnered. I think, I think something else that's important too, is that as we can see, and it, it clear as day, all right, Javos content borders on nudity. It, it borders. And I think that's where the gray area that I was talking about comes into play. For example, I'm going to put on screen one of her uh, IRL pool streams, right? You can clearly tell this girl takes advantage of her sex appeal to gain viewership. And again, that's completely cool. If people want to see this type of content and Twitch allows it, then that's whatever. My opinion doesn't matter. Your opinion doesn't matter. The only opinion that matters is Twitch. Because if they feel like this content is acceptable on their platform and it brings enough viewers and you don't need to worry about it, then fuck it. It's their website. You don't like it. You can make a new website. I don't personally care about these types of streams. I think these types of streams are whatever. I don't think I, to me, it's not entertaining. Maybe because it's maybe because I'm not 13 years old, but it's like, I just don't care for these types of streams. If I want to see this kind of shit, I'll go on live Jasmine. If I want to see this type of shit, I'll go on Chatterbait. I'm not going to go on a Twitch to watch a girl in her bathing in her bathing suit, swimming around in her pool or doing whatever, doing cake smashes, smashing cake on her, on her body while she's like, I don't care about this type of content, right? But if it works for 10,000 people at a time and Twitch makes money from it and accepts it, then that's not up to us to disagree with it, right? Fuck it. She can make her money. And in fact, I hope that she's able to live off of this Twitch money that she's making. Good for her. My only problem is when people that do more numbers than her with less racy content are not able or are able to live off of it because of other, you know, because of other avenues such as YouTube or donations or anything, right? But it just makes them harder because they're unable to get partnered, right? If Taylor Javo can get partnered on Twitch, why can't your rage? And even, even then, even then, right? The whole nudity thing is another problem because you have people like Taylor Javo that actively play on their sex appeal to gain viewership. Cool. Then you have people like Clix, a uh, famous a uh, Fortnite YouTuber, a famous Fortnite streamer, rather. I don't personally, I've never heard about him before I researched this, but uh, he got banned, right? He got banned because he showed uh, nudity on his stream accidentally, right? Uh, thankfully for him, Twitch removed the ban, like I think it was less than 48 hours later. But that's not the problem. The problem is that Twitch banned him in the first place. And he's only one example. There's so many examples of Twitch banning people for clear accident and clicks is lucky because clicks is famous he was able to get it he was able to get its, his channel reinstated due in part because he's famous if you and me have a twitch stream and we are we average maybe 50 viewers right i'm, I'm playing i'm playing on twitch i'm on my computer i open something by accident it's like somebody's ass i'm fucked i'm losing my channel and i'm not getting it back but when people like taylor javo actively play on the nudity aspect and that's let's keep it a buck that's why a lot of people do come watch her content because she plays on this nudity aspect, right? There's a lot of young men on Twitch who, if they're scrolling around and they just see a Twitch stream and it's like, it's a girl half naked, they're probably going to want, they're probably going to be drawn to her stream. That's just how it is. My thing is when somebody actively plays on that, purposefully plays on that, right? They get rewarded with a partnership. When somebody accidentally shows nudity clearly it's an accident because a lot of the times they'll end the stream they'll delete the vod they'll do anything they can to get rid of the proof that they had an accident on stream 
they will still get banned. And to me, that doesn't make sense. But that one person who plays on her nudity is rewarded, while the others who make mistake are just guilty before they're even able to defend themselves, right? Twitch just deems that they're guilty because... What exactly? Because they made a mistake, but they don't even bother to check and they just assume that it was intentional? I'm not really sure I understand like Twitch's logic with that. And before I end this, this isn't like... Um, like a, uh, this isn't like against Taylor Javo. This isn't a video to kind of go after her. Her content is whatever. I think I've made that very clear throughout this video. But I just want to reinstate that it's not my place to talk about her content. It's not the content that appeals to me, but it but it clearly appeals to a lot of people. And I think that's just where the bottom line is. A lot of people tune in to watch her streams. She can average a gigantic number of people at once. So she gets rewarded with a partnership. And I will say it again one last time. She deserves her partnership for being able to bring in so many people at once without, I guess, breaking Twitch's TOS, right? But my problem and why I made this video in the first place is people who average large numbers of people should be able to get partnered. Javo who makes racy content gets partnered despite her racy, her racy content. People who make, you know, regular content to an extent are not able to get partnered. And my question is why? What's the reason? But unfortunately, I'm not going to get a, I'm not going to get a response. This video is just to kind of put my thoughts out there about this because uh, it just kind of bothers me when I see this. It happens every few months, honestly, that like you see someone on Twitch doing some outlandish shit, right? And you just kind of wonder, oh, this person could get partnered, but you know, for example, your rage can get part can get partnered. It just seems silly. It, it really does. But anyways, I guess I'll just leave it at that.